I remember Uncle Ben telling Peter Parker with great power comes great responsibility. In other words, Uncle Ben was trying to tell Peter that, you know, the man that he was about to become, which is Spider-Man, he was supposed to be there for his people. He was supposed to be there for the ones he loved. When these sick ponies try to attack the one who he loved, Mary Jane. But where is he? <laughs> there he is. He's busy spinning on the roof while Mary Jane is being attacked by these ponies coming and going. Yes, the actress that played uh, Mary Jane um, in Spider-Man is being attacked by the PlayStation fans. But why? Because these guys are sick. I told you guys it's a sickness. And we'll also have another story talking about how, um, you know, the playstation community is basically begging for xbox game at this point and we'll also talk about some of the weak jellyback xbox fans who has you know become so emotional because um you know they are hearing the rumors i will have to go back in the dictionary to help them to see what a rumor means but we'll talk about all that and more so let's get it This is a sickness! Let's get it! First up, let's talk about the sickness that is the Sony community. For a long time, I have been saying that there are sick gamers everywhere. There are sick gamers on Nintendo, on Xbox side, and on PlayStation side, even on PC. But no other community can beat back the PlayStation community when it comes to sick deviants and when it comes to there's a sickness that is the PlayStation community. And you know, there's so much proof of this. We spoke about how they uh, threatened Alana Pierce, how they threatened Austin Evans. Um, just recently, I was reminded that they sent the God of War devs, you know, explicit pictures simply because they were not giving them a release date wrap your head around that grown men is sending the devs of god of war uh pitiers explicit pitiers because they did not get the release date of god of war ragnarok um you know right before it came out and now they are doing it again this time with the actress that played uh, mary jane um listen as uh K kotaku give us the insight as to what is going on with these sick ponies. Spider-Man's MJ face model asks fans to stop stalking and harassing her. Stephanie Tyler Jones posted on Instagram, please respect that I am a human being. You see how this article started off? You, I told you guys that these ponies are sick. They are stalking this woman. Stephanie Tyler Jones, the woman behind Mary Jane Watson's face in Insomniac Spider-Man games, recently said she's received harassment from fans, including phone calls to her workplace where callers demand to speak to her. In a public post on social media, she asked these fans to stop. In the original Marvel Spider-Man on PS4 and its subsequent ports, spin-offs, and sequel, Jones provided the face model of Peter Parker's famous girlfriend, MJ. While Laura Bailey provided the voice of MJ, it was Jones' face that inspired the character's in-game model. As a result of this, Jones has become well-known in the Spider-Man community. But recently, some fans went too far, according to Jones, and started calling her day job and leaving voicemails that made her feel unsafe and uncomfortable. On January 8, Jones posted a short, public letter on Instagram detailing what happened and asking fans to respect her boundaries and to stop messaging her about MJ and Spider-Man. Over the weekend, some followers crossed boundaries, Jones said. One even went to the extent of calling my workplace and leaving multiple voicemails wanting to speak with me and requesting I call back, which is unacceptable and considered stalking. While she does, appreciate, the positive reaction her version of MJ has received from players over the years, she is no longer actively auditioning, acting, or modeling. Instead, she now works in skincare, which is why, she asked fans to respect her career change and not message her skincare-focused Instagram or job. 
wait 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 are you telling me that these ponies were so sick that they made this woman go into skincare what, what, what's going on here man this woman had a whole career you, you know um going into video games and this pony ran her out and now she's dealing with skin what's going on here but don't you guys have wives and mothers and sisters these guys, ponies you guys are really sick my skincare page is not for spider-man or mj fans jones posted bottom line is that i came into work this morning and immediately felt unsafe and uncomfortable hearing those voicemails jones ended the letter asking for fans and players to respect that i am a human being trying to make a living just like you and kindly ask them to stop messaging her messages will not be answered jones said i will block you if you make me feel uncomfortable and you can unfollow me if this disappoints you while what happened to jones is terrible and frustrating it's sadly a common occurrence in video game communities and fandoms players have sent harassing messages and threats to developers voice actors and others simply because they don't like a game or a character we've also seen twitch streamers report stalkers from within their community in a clear example of fans forgetting the people on screen are humans, too. Kotaku has contacted Insomniac, PlayStation, and Jones' former talent agency for comment. So yes, this is something serious. I mean, this is nothing to joke about. Um, Sony fans need to chill a bit. It, this is video games. Why are you guys going as far as investigating where this woman is working, doing your due diligence to call her and then harass her? Well, what's up with you guys? What, what kind of what kind of gamers you are? This is unheard of. I mean, I don't know what's the sad thing about this entire story. Not one pro PlayStation channel is talking about this. Not one. I have not seen not one of them telling their fans that if it is they do that, um, you know, they are not cool with it. They they will not support them. They will not sh show them out. These uh you know playstation um youtube channel should address this am i the only one talking about these sick ponies trying to make this woman uncomfortable this is sad let me hear what you think about the, all of this these sony ponies here being weird next up let's talk about the rumors that games are coming to the playstation and the nintendo switch now i can't believe i have to actually do this but sometimes um, when it is you guys um, are not sure about the meaning of certain words, you guys could go to dictionary.com. Let's look at this, the meaning of this word here. So according to dictionary.com, the meaning of rumor is a story or statement in general circulation without confirmation <laughs> or certainty as to facts. Yes there you have it it's simple like that you guys could have just type up um you know dictionary.com and find out the meaning of the word rumor instead of acting like this then suddenly it'll be oh it's on playstation 2 because this is what they do and i'm just sick of it i don't even want to hear this like if mm. phil is listening just stop enough uh, we yeah. we went through the worst generation with xbox one stayed loyal to your platform this is our freaking generation where you right. finally have the games you finally have a platform and we get to enjoy it and then you just say well the first exclusive you got new ip we're going to take that and not make it exclusive why you can hear the emotion in this guy's voice you can hear the raw you know emotion um just because of a rumor you know, if it is, he would have just go to uh, dictionary.com. He would have, you know, he might have not been so emotional um, from this rumor. Yeah. What is the point? Why do this? Oh, we want to expose it for the next. No, I don't care. I don't even want to hear any more excuses. All right. Stop running into the rake every freaking time. You get good news, good news, and then thump. Why? Just yeah. stop. And then they if have to reset. So that was the state of some Xbox uh, fans not too long ago. Jellybacks, I call them jellybacks. But so some of these ponies are, um, you know, making a victory lap. But hear what? Xbox is going third party. And they take this rumor and they, you know, 
equated to what the CFO said not too long ago that they would be bringing third party games to you know uh, other platforms but Microsoft have been doing that for years prior to the CFO saying that so what's new here in addition to that we could remember what it is Phil Spencer said listen up just, I don't really love this idea that for every one of our games there becomes this little rumor on is it going to end up on the Switch or not. And I feel like we should we should set a better expectation with our fans than that. We are not a third party publisher. Yeah. Right. We do something different with our content like Starfield, but not all the content. Obviously, Minecraft ships on, on other platforms mm -hmm. um, and we, we enjoy doing that as well. So here lies the difference. This is what we consider a fact. It came from the horse's mouth which is the uh, CEO, the boss himself um, of Xbox, Phil Spencer. He said that they are not third party. He said that, you know, it would have exclusive content on the box. He said that, hear what? There will be certain games coming to the other platforms. Um, you know, Hi-Fi Rush, uh, Sea of Thieves would be a perfect fit for Nintendo. Um, you know, in addition to Sea of Thieves could also go on to the PlayStation knowing that it's been around for five years. Now, if in that five years you are not an active player of Sea of Thieves, then why do you even care that this is going over to um, PlayStation or um, the Switch? If you are not playing it, then why should Microsoft not want it to grow? Think about it for a, uh, a while. Come on, guys. <laughs> sea of Thieves, is that what you guys are crying for? <laughs> So next time before you react to a rumor, please remember to say this. Where you got that from? Where you got that from? Where you got that from? No, my lady. You said that, Gary. Your information is wrong and you are not to take information from that source again. <laughs> yes. But you know what's funny in this whole thing? Um, seeing how Sony fans have switched up. You know, they for the longest while have been saying Xbox has no games. But now Xbox is bringing their games to the PlayStation. Which one is it? Is it that they don't have games? Or is it that games are coming to the PlayStation? <laughs> they, just, they also said that Xbox games are trash. Didn't they say that? But now all of a sudden that they are saying this. j said, I know I said those Xbox games were dog mess. But guess what? I lied. They are great, awesome games and can't wait to play them on my PlayStation 5 like Phil Spencer intended. Yes, so we're seeing these guys are out here tweaking. These guys are out here begging for Xbox games. They even did a mock-up of, you know, um, Xbox games going to PlayStation Plus. Look at it here. There are even guys uh, wishing that, you know, Hi-Fi Rush come to PlayStation so they can play it on that potato of a handheld peripheral which is the uh playstation portal q or, or playstation portal so it's very clear playstation is down bad when it comes to first party games when it comes to you know exciting uh uh fresh games instead of the over the shoulder games so much so that these ponies are out there begging for it Instead of Sony coming out with brand new cars, they should come out with some first party games so that their consumers can play it. But let me hear what you think about everything that was said today. Whether it be the rumors they're spreading, say that is sensing me planting. <laughs> Don't believe the rumors, guys. You always test out to make sure something is true or not. Is it that you're going to remember what we said about the sick ponies harassing, you know, the actress there for Spider-Man 2? Let me know in the comment sections below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.